Hey everybody, Katrina from Different Drummer Dance here, and it is Tuesday, which means it's time for a Teacher Tip Tuesday. So today I wanted to talk about my go-to thing to do when classes are crazy, when the kids need a little break, when I need a little bit of a break, and I just need a moment to recapture everybody's attention, attention, bring them back to me, and also kind of reset the class. So this is especially helpful if you work with young students, although you can do this exercise, I would recommend that you do this exercise with dancers of all ages. Um, I call it a little stretch or brain break for my young dancers, but really what it is, is the is a heel rock exercise from um, the Bartiniev method. If you're not familiar with that, um, it's Ermagard, I think, what's her name? Bartiniev, who studied with Rudolf Laban. So it's a um, exercise developed from the Laban methodology. And what it does is it helps us kind of reconnect into our spine, and it's a corrective movement system. So what you do, I'll insert a picture of one of my students kind of demonstrating, um, but you just have them lay like starfish style out on the floor. Start with some nice big deep breaths. You can incorporate some gentle stretching if you like, but you just initiate a movement from the heels and you kind of rock the body back and forward. And with the younger kids, what I like to do is I come around and I actually, with their permission, move their heels forward and backwards. And you'll see it generates this movement throughout the entire body that's very uh, restorative. It's also very relaxing. Um, and it really helps students, especially younger students, kind of find that whole body spine connection that we're looking for when we dance. Um, and so I'll heel rock with them for a few times. I'll give their feet some flex and points, some windshield wipers in and out. I'll stretch their arms and kind of generate some heat and some movement through their body by swishing down their legs and arms and encourage them to breathe while I go around and do all of the other dancers. But like I said, you can do this for dancers of any age. It's super, super helpful. And just like I said, really restorative, really relaxing, and it helps kind of reconnect us back into our spine and our core movements. And I will definitely leave more um, information in the comments below about where you can find more information about Bartiniev and Laban. I hope you use it when um, I my classes are just getting crazy, the energy is really high, I just say, okay, everybody find a perfect spot, lay down flat on the floor, and the kids know what's coming. Um, I can also sometimes give them a pool noodle that they'll use um, for like a little pillow, and sometimes I have them practice passing the pool noodle from their hands to their feet back and forth and that also kind of generates a nice gentle rocking motion um, and it's like I said just a really great way to reset your classes if you're having a moment where you're like oh my god these kids are driving me crazy this is a great one for you to get your bearings, for them to get their bearings. I also love to do it pre-performance, pre-competition. Um, it's just a really good way to reset, get re-energized, and hit play all over again. I know this is the season for us where we're in the middle of competitions and spring performances gearing up for summer. So you and your students, I'm imagining, are in need of a little reset. So I hope you will use this exercise and I hope you find it beneficial. Feel free to leave a comment in below and let me know how you found it. Also, quick announcement before I sign off. This will be my last uh, teacher tip for a while. I'm going to be going on a little vacation so I can go and get married. Um, so you won't be hearing from me for about two weeks or so until I get my bearings back. But please do feel free Free to scroll through all of the other videos that I got. Make sure you go check the blog. I've got tons of resources for you to paw through if you are interested and needing some more tips and some kind of inspiration for your spring classes. All right, everybody, happy teaching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.